Find the fuck out. I didn't even get started on what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro, that movie was oh. crazy. Crazy, Franksy. Yeah. Oh. Specials tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's mm, that so sounds no good. Problem. I'll have that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>everybody specialist in nothing back at you again <laughs> talking about everything specializing in nothing my name is frank as always joe and danny you guys want to say what's up what up what up how you doing hello everyone we are the specialists of nothing where we pretty much talk about everything and anything right is that how we go yeah pretty much <laughs> is that how you <laughs> wanted them to say it <laughs> pretty so, much so we were talking about covid we got into it a lot uh covered some stuff but really uh me and daddy got into some debates about some other stuff but so we wanted to talk about some topics that we did miss um COVID I- part two <laughs> <laughs> I know that I am like the parent out of the three of us and stuff. So I kind of want to, I mean, my daughter's got young, some questions. So I'm uh, my daughter's young. So I kind of feel like we could breeze through that part. Cause I kind of do want to get into the next generation and like schooling and stuff, but How they're just like fucked due to this COVID <laughs> coronavirus shit. But yeah. I mean, my older daughter's three, so she's in public school now. She's in three K pre K uh, in Staten Island, but she, um, she doesn't really do like homework and stuff like that. Like even when they had zoom calls and she was doing the remote learning, um, it was like, they would play like a YouTube video of like a kid's video or like read them a story or this, that it's more for like socialization. And Let's stuff like sing that. a song. Yeah. Like getting them on the schedule of school and socializing with kids and stuff like that, yeah. uh, sharing stuff cool. like that. But now she's back to school full time. She's been back for a couple months. Uh, well, so she goes three. five days a week. So like what exactly this is still kind of like a daycare type of thing and not necessarily uh-huh. not necessarily daycare she's in school i know she's learning she's probably mm-hmm. learning her alphabet she's probably learning the numbers how to write the alphabet they do that stuff but they don't like make it to where it's a requirement they just like try and like um uh what's the word i'm looking for like they try and like keep showing it to them and like whatever but they don't Repetition force it if they're aware yeah like to pick it, it up and like whatever okay. but they don't force it on them you know what i mean um but I- like yeah they do that stuff but she goes in at 8 30 every day she gets out at 145 uh i mean they used to get out at 2 30 but now with covid whatever they get out at 145 yeah. um but i mean she goes there every day monday through friday the kids wear their masks you know in the day like they take them off to eat and put them back on and this and that um she, goes I mean, she has school? yeah she i mean she has nap time so like they take it off for nap time but like other than that, like they have two kids to a table, they See, keep them spaced out. Like that, that kind of, I'm, I'm cool with most of the stuff and how they do that everything. That gets me questioning though. Like, why is it? And this is what I wanted to bring up on our on our part one. But like you said, they take off the masks while they're sleeping, right? But during well, you school can't time, expect a three year old to have their no, face no, covered while they're sleeping. But, right, of course. But this is what I'm trying to get at. In a restaurant, now that they're open, I think they're 35 percent indoor mm-hmm. dining. You have to have your mask on when you enter the building until you get to your table then you sit down and you could take your mask off and yes, you can have because it off as long as you want wait, wait. there's been but restaurants where off, i have to literally I, put well, it on walk five yeah. feet to the bathroom off, i know down. what you're yeah. gonna say but it's because it's it's about minimizing the time of exposure it's not about obviously the mask isn't foolproof and obviously like it's not but you can't keep it on what are you gonna pull it down take a bite put it back up like they no, know that things saying, have to be practical. So walking in, sitting if you down, can walking out. Minimize the time of you having open air breath of while you're walking past people and this and that, and then once you're confined to your table, I get it because airborne. It drives me crazy, and this is another thing we'll disagree on. I'm not gonna no, get no, no, no. I'm not disagreeing it. with you because I, I get what you're saying, and I get why people are frustrated by it. But I also do get the logic. It's just minimizing the time. It's like how we were talking about the vaccine no, and stuff like that. minimizing the chances. You know what I mean? It, that's all it is. It's just like if you can save a little chance here, save a little chance there, yeah. you know, why not? We're going to get back to the schooling and the parenting thing in a second. But what we're talking about now with restaurants, they're not letting you order a drink at the bar. And in order for you to actually sit down in the restaurant and order a drink, you have to order food, which I could see. They want to try to up the revenue. All right, if you're going to have two drinks, you got to order an appetizer or something just so the bill's a little mm-hmm. higher. The, the business makes a little bit of money. Here I mean, they have, to, they have to make up for what they lost for being close for so long. They don't want people to but, socially hang out, conversate, have a drink. But, it's, it's if you're not eating and drinking, go home. Yeah. Now, they're even if they're open until like 2 a.m. and the kitchen closes at 1030, 
you can't go in for a drink unless you order food. But if the kitchen's closed, you can't order food. Therefore, you can't have a drink. I get that they don't want to have just everyone bombarded back into the bars, the restaurants or whatnot. But I do feel like that's kind of also taking a blow on their sales. You know, all three of us, we've all worked in restaurants together and in future in, well, in past times individually. But it's like, you know, that when you have people who are coming in to order food, you're going to want to upsell to a drink. And when people kind of come in for a drink, you want to upsell for a food. But it's like, if the kitchen's closed, you can't do anything. I don't know. That's just how I feel a little iffy about it. Things will start opening up again soon, I hope. But um, what you were saying a minute ago about uh, your daughter, three years old, remote learning. Our, again, mutual friend, begins with a D. Mm-hmm. She's a teacher. And um, he what up, said D? That- Shout out, D. We <laughs> love you, D. <laughs> Yo. Um, <laughs> we're actually going to have him on a guest. So he's he, my boy. He really, he's really excited to join this. Um, but yeah, he did a club, right? Yeah, he so he that's a whole nother story. He did like a nineties club. Maybe we should have him on for that episode. We'll do like that's, a nostalgia. That's, that's thing. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, no, but so but he so he's a teacher, right? So he works from home remotely and he's on his computer and he's not doesn't have to be video, but he puts up a uh, uh, classwork for the kids to do. If they mm-hmm. have any questions or concerns, they could either message him or they could, you know, FaceTime him. How old are his students? Explain. Uh he's a high school teacher. So I'm okay. assuming junior and senior year. Okay. okay. And basically even when you're not remote and you are working in the school what they do is they have a teacher this is via him and to explain what to do he's teaching a computer even if the kids are in school they're in another room and they're learning from a computer from up top of wherever the other i guess teacher is teaching from so uh d is in the classroom teaching a computer and the You're computer the is live scripting. You are a classroom <laughs> <laughs> and he's teaching via computer and it's being projected onto another computer screen in like the auditorium or another yeah. classroom where kids are set up. Now I have another friend who has children, um, seven, nine teenagers and kids who are just getting into senior year. I have other friends who have, what kids up, as v? Well. shout out V. And basically what's going on with their remote learning is they're separated by plastic walls. They can't touch their friends. They can't hang out. There's no recess. There's no lunch. They can't eat. It was from, I guess, like eight to three is a normal school day. Is that right, Frank? Joe, you remember when you were in in school back in the day? Eight to two thirty. That's a one? Eight to two thirty, yeah. Actually, I think it was seven to two thirty. Seven. Seven. Yeah, it was three three thirty for me. I had to go to Um, three thirty. I went to Newdorp, so I really didn't. Well, my high oh. school was in Vegas, but I we definitely got out at two thirty. I think it was seven to two thirty. Whatever the case is, now it's like two days out of the four, and it's half days because they leave Wednesdays for cleaning, right? It or depends like on that? the school right now, so it depends no, right. on the school and what the school district because, and it depends on the age because the younger kids are all going full time, the older kids are doing like the split or the full time uh, at right. home. But, but honestly. Is- like my, uh, I'm sorry, but my niece, uh, so my brother-in-law, his daughter, um, she does remote learning, fully remote learning, but How old? she's uh, 16, but she's okay. awesome. She does all her work. She does everything. Like she does her assignment. She's everything. She's a whiz at school. So for some kids, for it's some really kids, not it's that big a deal. You know what I mean? They, they could just do their work. They could do it on their own time and boom. I mean, I know when I was in high school, I wish I could have done something like this because yeah. I wasn't dumb. I just hated doing homework. So I always did my classwork, but I never did homework. So my grades always suffered because I never turned in homework and stuff like that. But I still passed and I still got through and whatever, because I still knew what I was doing. And whenever a test came up or this and that finals, this and that, I always, you know, passed. You were prepared for it, right. Kids can't cut class now. So So now, but that's what I'm saying. So now it's kind of easier in the sense of if you know what you're doing, you could just get it done and do your stuff and still have time to do whatever else. But for the other kids that need that one-on-one or need that FaceTime or need, you know, a teacher or whatever. But that's how you learn. It is a little more different, you know, you it's, know? it stinks. Well, for some people, some people do. Some people can, you know, figure it out on their own, learn on their own or have that extra. For a lot of people, they're struggling being home and just yeah. out of their element. Not because you're that. lazy. I was taking yeah. online courses over the past uh, fall and spring semester. I would literally, I had a class at 10 a.m. on Saturdays. I'd roll over blog in on my ipad i'd leave the screen up the teachers on zoom i don't have to put a video on i'm on mute 
and I just I would not that I would do this all the time. I passed with a fucking A plus actually, which is surprising. But I would roll over and you get comfortable. You're in your own bed. You're in your own pajamas. You fall asleep. You relax. You become lazy. You know. And another thing is you're distracted. You get a text message. You get an email. You're watching a show. You're not paying attention. I'm gonna go to the kitchen, get a sandwich, get a you know drink. What I'm saying? You got your earphones on so you can roam about the house and listen to what they got to say, but you're not really paying attention. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's crazy because these kids now, they're just staring at a computer screen and it's really not good for their eyes. And it's fucking it's mm, traumatic. That's an urban myth. Cause don't it's be one of those parents. To don't stay, get too close to the TV. It's, it's just hard to eyes. stay focused. I get you on that. But think about it like this. They're staring at, the t- at, at their computer screen from eight until when? Half day is what? Eight to two, eight to one. We'll call it no, eight to 12. What's we'll called eight to 12. I have to say though, I disagree with a lot of people that say that about like, oh, kids are stuck to like this. I'm sorry. As a parent, I have two iPads that I bought specifically for both of my kids, so they each have one. And me and Karen use them whenever they're not using them, or when the kids go to sleep. But it's not. We have our own stuff on them and stuff too. But they're for the kids. Honestly, they are the best thing ever. Yeah, and and not because now, but no, but and I'm not, I'm not they're even on school from eight to twelve. Okay, they're learning, and then they're done with learning. So what do they want to do? They want to go do TikTok on their cell phone, or they okay. want to go watch YouTube on their iPad. But that's it's what I say. Some of the day. kids, they're and not, not all of them, YouTube and stuff. I'm sorry, YouTube is very informative. I watch Absolutely. a lot of do if it yourself, how to do yes, this, blah blah blah. For YouTube, adults, is actually no, but you. even but for, for kids. kids even for kids, think about it. There's kids that I'm sorry. I know a lot of kids that watch like the walkthroughs on video games. It's not they're figuring out Switch things. Shit, yeah. Same thing as if you're like, oh, how do I change my oil on my own? I'm gonna go check that out on YouTube and like just do it myself, save some money. If they're doing the same thing for a video game and stuff, yeah, I get it. It's not the same as application or whatever, but it is in the sense of like they're still figuring something out, learning something or like whatever. Now it may not be the things that you think they should be learning. But now you just sound like the old person that's like, your music stinks. A, My music no, was better or whatever that's another topic. We'll talk about that. Well, I know, but I'm just <laughs> saying, but you know what I mean? You get the point that I'm making. You know what I mean? So to me, I mean, like things are changing. I'm sorry. A lot of stuff is digital now, Danny. Digital jobs, digital marketing, this and Everything's that. Everything's on the internet. Huge. Now. Yeah, you but think about it. It's not good for the their mental right health. Now. Not necessarily. Their kids aren't not going outside now. Bro, I know not a lot spending of 18 time to 25 year old kids a lot that are making. Who's old now? 18 to 25 year old kids. Bro, no, but I'm adults. saying like. No, but I'm saying like I know like from cousins and this and that. I know kids that are between 18 to 25. I'll say probably, especially from my cousin Tino, but I probably say I know about like 20 of them. Most of them are making money on video games, streaming. Drug Tino dealers, just got a contract. Dealers. I didn't even tell you that. Tino just got a contract where, like, when he plays in tournaments and stuff now, like, in whatever, he can make money now playing video games. That's a it's big not thing all now. bad. Some of it's these not all bad, make but five about- to six figures just doing this stuff about being online and doing that. TikTok, right, video Frank, games, this that. It's not all bad. What it's I'm trying to get bad. at is the kids who are still learning and developing. I'm talking kids in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth mm-hmm. grade. They Mia learns so one much second. on her iPad. But I'm honestly, yeah, you two kids, Mia learns First so of all, on her iPad. I'm like, where'd you learn that? She's like, on oh, my videos. And I'm like, Even oh, before okay. coronavirus, they stopped doing script. There's no more cursive, okay? Yeah, that there's, I hate. I don't hear like me that. Out. But listen, there's a quote unquote, no kid left behind program now where it doesn't matter if you're in seventh grade and you don't know what's going on you're going to get progressed to the eighth grade even if you don't know the shit of the eighth grade or the seventh grade level yeah, that's not there's good. and that's not fair it's because participation trophies shit. 100 <clears throat> listen 100%. kids are kids are still fucked because there's just no personal experience anymore you're just home there's no more socializing you're, right there's no socializing that's like a it's a big thing going through school and high schedules. school and developing yeah. your character and your person, yeah. you know, Joe, your personality. And- the point. biggest thing that I say is too, like kids, I mean, I know it's a difference of kids that go to public school and private school too, but like kids that go to public school, like, I'm sorry, you're exposed to a lot. You have to adapt to certain things. You're there. It's different. Hell. So that's one thing too, in the sense of socialization and like whatever, like being public in the schools world. are closed, but Catholic and private schools are open. But that's what I'm saying. So for public schools, uh, so they're the still getting their education and public no, schools for, are closed for, for, for private or i mean for public schools the younger kids are open so kindergarten under um right. goes if i'm correct i believe it's kindergarten and under but they it's go under, and the, 
I, yeah, so kindergarten, preschool, and 4K, or like whatever it is, they go. Okay. And I think HD. I think elementary goes some days too, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> but whatever it is. But the young well, elementary kids I know from, go from first to fifth grade is is two my, years, two I'm sorry, two days, two half days. So they go two right. half days from kindergarten to but fifth that's what grade. I'm saying. So my point being the younger the kid, the more they can go, the right. older so but either way. But there's no gym, there's no lunch. But that's what no I was saying. So that, that's a, that's what I'm gonna say. I was they're sorry, like, I was losing my I was losing my point. Okay. But so they're not on a schedule. That's right. the difference. Is even if they're on a schedule at home or like whatever, it's not on a schedule of like they with can't the other kids interacting. Other, it's like, not no in the recess. Re- that's what I'm saying. Like whereas when you're going to public school, like I feel like it definitely prepares you more for the real world. For the real the world, yeah, of, like yeah. everything. So as a whole of just dealing with whatever situations. So yeah, in that sense, I think it takes it away. In an education sense, I don't think it's necessarily bad to have the uh, listen, digital the remote stuff. learning. Yeah. Well, listen, not I, even remote learning, just but I'm saying like the digital, the tablets, the I'll iPads, agree with the, you. the laptops, stuff like that. But the motivation <laughs> has to be there because yeah, if you get but that's if you the get a 14 year old or 15, <laughs> it doesn't matter well, if they're a teenager yeah, or younger, dude, that's the parents' job. I'm sorry. Now. Parents are home. There's enough shit going on with them. No, you know bro. what I mean? Bro, the kids I will say this. To I'm them. sorry. The I will say this. Depression. Well, mm-hmm. hold on. My brother in law, I'm sorry, and his wife. They have so much shit going on, as me and Karen and this right. blah, blah, blah. But they are on their kids with their remote learning, making sure they're doing their stuff and this, that. I'm sorry. If you're a parent, it is a necessity, and you make sure it's one of the things that you do. Dude, if you're it's, making it's sure easy. whatever, you're in the education sense, it's definitely still there. Now, Understood, in the sense of what you're saying listen, of like wait, 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 the cursive wait, wait, wait. or that the math have... changing or this and that, <laughs> those not... things I disagree with in the sense of schools and like whatever. It's but... not that easy, dude. You have you, your brother-in-law has a wife. Think about it. A single parent. Let's say a mother of three or four people. You got to now understand that that schedule that that mother had when the mm-hmm. kids were going to school is fucking out the window. I No, out not, the really, window. not really. Because all they really? have to do is like when they come home from work or whatever, the time that they normally have with their kids, you're just going on to check because the parents have access to. So that's the thing is they're still in high school. The they're kids still under aren't 18. Going so to even if they're in high school, days. so the I mother know, or but even if, cannot go to work. They're not stay true. at home. They're, look, even if they're working from home, let's say the parents are from home. I mean, if they're home, younger, they still they're have to teach and you need these a kids these or something things. Like that, I get that, but there are still options. Even I do that. But I'm saying in the sense of for schoolwork, we're talking about education now. So for education purposes, they're under 18. The parents have access. So for any kid that's remote learning or anything like that, we have the app that's called like Learn Center. That's just what our school uses and like whatever, but different schools use different things. It's not, they let the parents know. These are the assignments they have to do this week. These are the ones they've completed. These are the ones so that far. are due. These and are this and that. Right. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So as long as you, like I said, you're on top of your kids and you're. Well, what about parent, like a mother of four? How should you be on top of four kids? It's not. She easy, gets home dude. from work. You go on the app. This kid had this. This kid had this. Hey, why didn't you do this? Hey, why didn't you do this? It's really not that hard. You're sitting. It's a lot at easier said than done, man. First hand, I'm telling you, it's Bro, difficult. I do it. I, I mean, I know you do it with three. one three year old. I, I she's get it, but I'm A's, saying, B's, C's, D's, but I'm B's, saying, F's. It, you're sitting down at dinner with your kids at night. It, it, you're going to teach algebra, chemistry, no, Spanish. No, I'm not saying you're going to teach history, everything, but you have to make sure that they, they can do it. But if they don't understand it, if they don't understand it, how are you going tutors to progress? available. Dude. You do other Zoom classes. Yeah, public school tutors are really going to help. What I'm saying, it's not necessarily has to be from your school. If they need to learn something, there's more than enough platforms out there right now between YouTube or Zoom or this that where they can get help. Okay, I'm a parent. My kid needs help learning their algebra, but I don't have the time on it right now. I'm gonna go look up. Hey, are there any tutors out there? Blah blah blah. That's not. There's I mean, gonna from be people, people who that are having jobs work. on unemployment exactly, and-, and they're doing things like that. So now I'm gonna hire this person to be on a Zoom call with my kid at this time of this week every day to show them this and blah blah. blah. That's what you would do. That's adjusting. That's how we move forward. This is how now. But then the about parent has no time for themselves. This and is think how about how generation adapts. Right, but think about how draining on. that is, or mentally stressful. It doesn't it matter. I get that. Like, it's what do you think it it all depends it. on the parent anyway. It all comes down yes. to personal preference. Yes. Okay. What I'm saying, right. whatever works in your household. In the world of living, in the world of living or whatever, it doesn't matter if that's what it's stressful or this, that. You still have to do it. Life is stressful. Things come up. You still move past it. You find a way to do whatever you have to do. That's just being- I'm on the same life. page with Frank here. So no. if in the sense of COVID happened, this is what happened. This is what we're doing to adapt, to move on. This okay. is what we do. This is how These we're now- These kids don't listen. Life. 
bullshit. Bullshit, okay. bro. You wait until your daughter is old enough to tell you no, and then you tell I'm me. Saying, I mean, kids. Frank, listen, you're on the but, you're on the shorter no, side of the stick. I'm not saying the kids, kids don't listen, but Danny, you could say that about us when we were kids. You still found you your own still way. You still don't listen, but you still found your own way. It but that's because I was motivated. Think about the kids that. today who live on social media. He keeps trying to get off. I'm keeps trying to stay on education, and he keeps talking about other stuff. What education, bro? These I'm kids saying are not if being we're taught. talking about education and Let school assignments something. and this and that, it Do you is really possible think the for them to give keep learning remotely about what these kids are learning and not learning. Do you really think the teachers give a shit? They're like, I'm in. Yeah. I'm getting paid minimal I definitely amount. think there's certain dedicated teachers absolutely you think no, no, no. Yeah, dedicated. Listen, there's if dedicated teachers but everybody is kind of in a lim- everybody listen, is in kind of a limbo right now if you're in a private school or a catholic school you're getting paid based on how many successful percentages pass these tests into the next grade if you're a public school you're getting paid x amount of money across the board it doesn't matter who is passing who is failing you are still getting paid that's why there's a lot of people getting left back and a lot of people who are getting left back even before coronavirus they don't give a shit they're like oh uh this one's not passing this test so he's got to redo the 10th grade and then he's brought back and how do you think that makes him feel or her when all of his friends and family i'm sorry all of his friends and, and uh, peers at the school are now going to their senior year which unfortunately this year, there was no senior year. There was no prom. There's no fucking high school homecoming. That, yeah, that's you a know, big thing. Yeah. Missing like things, things like that. These kids are I, missing I, that, out on yeah. shit. No, I, like agree, Joe said. I agree. But again, that's things that happened in life that we have to adapt to. You but can't change it. You you're can't right, change but we're that. adults. That we we have can to adapt. Just... These are kids that are 15, 16. Joe said it. They're growing into who okay. they are. But They're when we were kids, developing. The corona didn't happen, but there was plenty of other things that still happened that you know were in our life that we were like, oh my God. You don't remember you mean when example? 9-11 happened? Okay, we were a facts. kid in no, New York right. when 9-11 right. happened, right. waking up. I, I was living in Vegas. I wasn't even yeah. out here anymore. I moved That's from Vegas when I was eight. So when I was out there, I was a couple years older. I think it was like 12 or whatever. And 13. I remember seeing on the news and being like, oh my God, because I still had family out here. I can't even imagine for you guys out being out here and stuff like that. Karen talking about when she was in school in Brooklyn. It's fucking Dude, wild. it's crazy. You're so, right. You're right. So that's I, something that now, point example, we okay. moved through that. We adapted through that. We had to figure out certain things. There were things that were closed for weeks. There was just that. Things happen in life that you have to adapt to and move past. This is something that was just different, that so it was a different set these... of circumstances because of what it was. Okay. So now are you saying that these 13... Wait, I want to move past this. Hold on, because I want to say... Well, I just want to say one thing before we move past it. All right. Okay. We got these kids... I know I'm, I'm lowballing this because high school, you're, you're kind of developing into who you are. But let's go with pre-high school or like uh, freshman, sophomore year. Even younger kids, they're going to be traumatized by this because they're they're in fucking glass cages for the most part. They can't touch their friends. They got to wear this mask all day. They're not allowed to take it off. Even when they go to the bathroom, they got to leave this shit on. They can't touch their friends. They can't hang out. There's no tag. There's no dodgeball. There's no gym. There's no recess. There's no lunch. There's no social interacting. So they come home and they want to rely on social media like TikTok, Snapchat, uh, I Instagram. Love TikTok. Of course you do. And all this stuff. Always it's like, say it. Frank's a superstar. It's, they're just sucked into it. So when they're not on their computer learning, they're like on their computer or their tablet or their cell phone trying to catch up with social media. And that's this coming from up. the guy who said he can't read a magazine to go to the bathroom anymore. Joe, is he talking about no, you? No, you. You're what the one that only talking about the social media. No matter what. Like, nobody doing. reads a magazine when we go to the bathroom anymore. Who has magazines in their bathroom? But that's the point that I'm trying to make. Everyone is only on social devices now or anybody is on an electric device. It's the life that we are in. We have subscriptions to magazines. If you have a subscription to a magazine, you're going to read it. That's probably the best place to read it. But I want right. to go you back may... and replay no, no. the audio from episode you, one. Where was, he was like, nobody listen, reads magazines I was, anymore. I was getting to that, Frank. <laughs> you brought up a very good point. People are addicted to their cell phones. They bring it wherever they are. It's That's why when you get a text message from someone, you're like, oh, who's this? Who's this? But and when someone doesn't respond to you, you're like, addiction. what? They have their phone on their hip at all times. It's not necessarily always addiction is what I'm trying to say. It's sometimes in the sense of that's the world that we live in now because Where everything's digital. And the changes. And what exactly, it is now. It's the faster way to get the info or whatever that's not you're gonna wait till a magazine comes into your mail in a couple days you're gonna look up something right now instantly of so course. sometimes you it just helps that way you know what right. i mean but so what Go i wanted to do pass, say though, yeah else, though. what i wanted to do with passes i wanted to say because we were talking about this and like kids with their schedules and stuff, 
how long and i'm i'm asking joe because i know like me and danny were debating on the oh, last Joe's one here? and <laughs> exactly <laughs> me and joe's still here one, and in the beginning of this one now and this that so joe how long do you think people will be living in fear for oh man Ooh. for a, a long time people are going to be scared of this for generations. So, so how long you think people generations? Are wear masks? Yeah, for noise. generations. You, you, e- even people after have it's become a so like scared of what they're doing, who's around them, who coughed, are you sick? What are you sick from? This is it's gonna no be longer, a thing. It's no longer a common for, cold. It's just you have COVID or what? What's up? <laughs> right. Let me check your well, temperature. I, even at work, that was the thing that I had to be like, like I was sick one weekend and they were like, Oh, go get a COVID test. And I'm like, you know that you can be sick still and not have COVID, right? Like, and not have COVID. Be like, like Jesus, like every all other COVID types now. of sickness have totally just That's disappeared. It, Sometimes I'm smoking weed and I cough in my car or outside, or it's not. Somebody's looking at me. I'm Someone like, don't worry, don't worry. No, but I'm just the person like, who looks at you has their gloves on and two masks <laughs> in the car by themselves, and they're like, "What's up, man?" Dude, I hate over? that. Can I tell you that's one of my pet peeves? I hate when I'm driving past someone and they're in the car by themselves and their mask is over the mask. Feet. What is why? What are you doing? Like, unless you're like a taxi driver where other people have been in going your car, totally like nowhere. Uber, like, but I'm saying, even if you're an Uber driver and nobody's in your car, I get it. You just dropped somebody off. They were just in your car. You didn't want to roll the windows down because it was cold. We just got over winter. Spray Something some like Lysol. That. Take the fucking no, mask off. Hey, Lysol was hard to get. You didn't have a can. I'm just saying, I can get something like that, even if it was like a taxi person. <sighs> right. But like the regular person who just their, gets in their car from their work and didn't take their mask off and is driving with their mask in your car by yourself. Why? What's the deal? I don't what know. Is, but what I'm, is the deal? You know, like, I'm totally over to it. Hear, I'm so love, over it. Can I, I get one of those people to email us or yeah, or Instagram it, us yes. or something? Someone explain to me. One of you that falls that? into that category that listens to What us. drives me please. crazy though? This Send is us it. some message. This, it really grinds my gears. <laughs> they'll wear their gloves in the supermarket and they'll be touching things. They'll put them in their wagon, whatever. They'll go out and, the, and then they'll pay for everything. And then they'll go in their car and they still have their gloves on using their phone. And then they're on their phone and then they're done. And then they go back into their house. They take off their gloves and they still use their phone. I'm like, look, you. Be, I maybe it's because the, I, the germs. Maybe it's yes. About maybe because I work things. in healthcare. Yeah, no. Before you took the need gloves to know off. that exactly, like just like when you're. It, you some, need to like, change like, your like, gloves we all know after every interaction. Industry, exactly. Every I don't know if I said industry. it, but I'm over it. <laughs> yeah. No, but you're supposed to do that. I'm they, so ready for this shit to go time. away. Yeah. No, absolutely. Well, so so getting back to this, and I'm not. And they're predicting that we're still going to be wearing masks, very limited. By the end of 2022. Well, Texas Shit. has lifted their the mandate. That's the one thing I don't like is I hate wearing the mask. It's a bitch. No, it's but it's all so wait, precaution. Going off of that, though, point. of, of wait, well, just Texas before this. Texas is 100% wait. reopen, and th- their masks are optional. So this before you get into what you get into. Unless but that's going to be the new – that's what I'm vaccines. saying. That's going to be the new thing. Everybody's going to have the option to wear this mask. You know how many people that were affected by this? And this is the whole world that this happened to. How many people are going to go on wearing masks for well, years and years? Like you said, how they were doing it beforehand, you know, just most to be safe. We're going to keep doing it. If the mask <laughs> mandation is lifted, are you still going to wear a mask? Fuck no. I don't even want to wear it now. Joe? No, I am right. not putting that Me mask either. on my But face. now here's the question. Do you feel you're going to be judged by people who are wearing their mask? And will you judge people who don't wear their mask? I Absolutely. Judge, I think I'm going to be yes, getting I do, judged. I think most people, most people will judge. Um, I think it'll more be the ones that are wearing the mask uh, that judge people judge. that aren't. Um, but I, I personally wouldn't. I just think it's like, uh, I, like I said, I haven't caught it. And I'm not worried about it. Like this, You want to get a fucking vaccine. He wants to get a fucking vaccine. You guys I'm just saying. Well, well, so that was my thing. I, I was just about to say, I didn't want to get back into it with Danny, but I forgot how maybe think of it. You're the first one I'm coming ago. for, by the way, if I turn into a zombie, Danny. So <laughs> Me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I know so, you can't run fast as it is, so I'll be good. I feel like I'm all right. Uh, <laughs> since we kind of went past it, I forgot what you guys said that made me want to say this, but I did want to say not to get into it with you again. But mm-hmm. Joe, let me ask you this again then. Now, mm-hmm. do you think will vaccines make Corona go away, or do you think no, no, it's not going to make it go it's away. Going away so much right it's now? It's gonna, it's gonna help control it for sure. I think so. It ain't gonna make it go away. Okay, so not go away. There's been so like many different, down. apparently, variants of the COVID-19 now that it's not going away. It's just transforming into either 
a, a higher form or a lesser form. And, you know, that's why they're trying to make a vaccine. Same thing with the flu. The flu doesn't go away, but, you know, people take the flu shot. And Joe, do you get a flu shot? I have. I haven't in the past couple of years. Frank, you get a flu shot? I never get a flu shot. That's actually one thing that I'm kind of against. So I, I don't like the flu. I shot, have gotten it before because they're but different. I'm not a, what's the difference you know, though? Do you know the difference? Uh, I personally, I don't know. Vaccine because it changes every year. Um, it's a little different. Um, but the flu shot is supposed to like again. It's just prevent you from the flu, but it, it injects a little bit of the flu in you. I know it's that vaccines are similar. I was say I know that vaccines are similar. Similar, yeah. But um because flu shots change so often every year is why I'm kind of more so like, like for the reason, like you said, they didn't study it enough. This blah, blah, blah. because it changes so frequently is why I'm like, mm, nah, I don't need to get it. Like, plus I've never really gotten a flu shot, even when I was younger than that. And I just never really, yeah, but got they're it. always like, doing tests on it, making it better. It. So if there's a better one and they're like, Hey, this year we have the better version. Of I it. mean, if they said, they're going like, to question that flu shot this year, I wouldn't be like, no, I would just be like, all right, whatever. I just, since I have the here's option the, and I never really get the flu, I'm just like, eh, I don't really need it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, thing. I'm just kind of like, eh, but here's the thing. You know, wait, For wait, the so, most part, this, I don't think the vaccine is going to make coronavirus go away, but here's where I feel that first of all, conspiracy is going to have to be its own topic on a whole nother episode. But I do feel like because they made us all, yo, don't think of me stop. Because they made us all right. quarantine and we are just now all in our homes with nothing better to do than to watch the TV, the media is instilling fear in us and controlling us. It's like mind manipulation. Hear me out for a second because I know you guys are going to want to jump in on this. But listen, we're all home and we're all doing nothing, okay? Maybe TikTok challenges, maybe I'm painting, maybe someone's doing a puzzle, maybe someone's learning how to crochet, whatever the case is. We all have this thing in common called television. And everybody wants to watch it. And there's a lot of media and widespread, I guess, mass manipulation, if you will. Shout out to Rez. Um, that at the same point is... What up, Rez? <laughs> everyone Rez is just Shout listening to, to whatever the media has to say. Whether it's true, false, fake news, whatever. We're stuck in our little cages, in our homes that we built for ourselves. And we're listening to nothing but the news. They're instilling fear in us. And that's how they control us. And as the masses... You have to really look deeper into what everything is. Now, that's not, I'm not just saying, oh, you got to be a conspiracy theorist to think of this, blah, 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 blah. but like when it comes down to it, do your own research. You know, I don't know what's in the vaccine itself, but at the same time, I'm still figuring shit out. And that's why I'm not for it. I'm not against it, but if people just did their own research and not just throw their entire trust in the government, things might be a little different. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it depends just, on where you research though. This is because true. no matter what, duck, there's duck, always go, something on both sides. There's always something on both sides. You have to make sure that what you're researching is the right website. Yeah, and that absolutely. And things that are like accredited and stuff like that. That's where it is for me. Most people will see something they read and just take it as what it is. You have to make sure that what you're reading is from something that's a correct Credible. site. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Credible. Absolutely. But, but this is why I also feel, give me one second, that a lot of the people are being obedient or compliant with these masks. Most of the time, it's 55 and older, for the most part, that I've noticed of statistics. And a lot of the time, people my are just waiting. Statistics. What? I said my man's busting out statistics. Well, I mean, don't quote me on it, but I mean, I did a little bit of research. Um, <laughs> a lot of the times, they're just waiting for the government to tell them it's okay. You know, if the government got on the news to tomorrow and was like coronavirus is gone you don't have to wear your mask you don't need a vaccine everything is fine a lot of people are going to throw their masks away and go about their normal day life like a quote-unquote back to normal which i don't think I've we'll ever trying have to do it before they said that <laughs> right same same but like is are they just no waiting way. for the government to say it's okay coronavirus is gone because you've well, seen so it you don't want to wear a mask i don't want to wear a mask will it ever get back to normal Back to how, how do you when think I say this back is to normal? I the mean world. back how, to how, where it was, like where how things exactly were. Like the whole world, though. What are you going to yeah. do about sporting events, traveling, that, sports, but that's what I mean. traveling, Concerts, different music, countries? Concert, yeah, yeah. You know, like is how all do you that stuff think they're going to go back to how that. it was, or is it always going to be spaced out now? Is it always going to be? I, I just feel you know, that something. people. I think for a while they're going to keep it spaced out. People started to give up their freedoms in lieu of safety. 
And you'll see that a lot of people will start restricting things that they can do in their freedom, quote unquote freedoms, because they're like, oh, the government says wear your mask. So wear your mask. And it's just, it doesn't make sense to me that people will just listen to, it's like the blind leading the blind. Well, you know, you they're just going to be like, you know how there's like different strains that normal. come out throughout the year? Well, no, I was going to say how there's different strains that come out throughout the year and stuff. Will it come around again every year? Is it going to be like, is it going to be an annual thing like the flu? You know what I mean? Like, is it going to be something? Oh, a new strain of coronavirus came out next year now. Oh, a new strain of this, or you know, what you I know, mean? I, listen, from the beginning when I got it, but we talked about this last episode when I got it a year ago, I had mild symptoms. I had body aches, chills, slight fever, and um, I think that was it, right? Yeah, that was it. That was, that was my. That was my experience with coronavirus. I was very asymptomatic. I had it for maybe two or three days. Now they're like, oh, there was loss of taste, loss of smell. Now they're coming up with other shit. I, I get calls every now and then from, it's COVID testing. I save the number because they call me every like three weeks. They're like, do you have confusion? I'm like, is that a symptom now? Just being confused. Yeah, I feel That's like it's just one of those commercials now. It's like, are you depressed? Do you feel it? You should take this. Like, oh, Jesus, I feel like and that's what it's getting towards now. It's like I'm on the phone with an automated service and they're like, so you don't you, have I love symptoms. Fucking with them. And I'm like, no, like, I don't have symptoms. And like, well, that's a symptom. I'm like, no, I, not I, having symptoms I, is a symptom? Like, not like them, but like the automated services that are like, yeah. we're here to extend your car's warranty. Oh, I love fucking with them. Oh, my like, God. So, they so call I me have for two things. Debt. I'm like, hey, yeah, no, talk to no, me about how I can lower this percentage. I have See two ya. things. When they call me about the extended cars warranty, I like either tell them, like, I'll be like, no, I'm actually, I'm calling you to be about your health insurance. And like, I try to confuse them and they get mad. I love that. Or I'll just give them a fake, make a model of like some fake car and keep it going until they get to the payment part. And then once they get to the payment part and I'm like, Oh, no, no, no. and they'll be like, oh, fuck you. Like, I, I love messing with them. No joke. Whenever any of those like spam callers call me for any of that scam stuff, oh, I try and mess with them as long as I can keep them on the phone. It makes my day. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what makes your day, Frank. That oh, makes your it. day. Love, you got to turn a negative situation into a positive, something that would normally make me angry. I'd be like, oh, whatever. This is I, true. You know, like, it, I it don't it have makes me laugh at them. <laughs> it makes me laugh at them. No, it's fine. But, um all right so back to what you what were is, saying about this, well, no. this new normal what is the though? world gonna we like be like after covid do well, we feel before, wow. who the fuck we, knows i feel like what, nobody has any real grip on what's going on or what well, to even do do. We, do we feel guilty for not wearing a mask i was just gonna COVID? say let, let's bring do, this mask do, thing up real quick you know what i mean is, is no that, i don't feel guilty i i don't right, but, but i'm saying out, people as a whole right. you know what i mean like I, I know i wouldn't care but are people so, gonna feel like think about society pressures this and that blah 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 is someone going to be looking at someone else? It's all about society. They're looking at me. They're wearing a mask. They're looking at me. And they Listen, think I should everything's about judgment these days anyway. Everybody's so. judgment. I'm going to tell you something. I'm not necessarily proud of it, but I think I'm only saying that I'm not proud of it because I know that we probably have some listeners who are like, well, fuck this kid. But I went into a supermarket the other day without a mask. I went in, I got my gro- groceries and I left. Nobody said anything to me. I went in, paid for my shit, got out. Total time in there was maybe six minutes, maybe six minutes. Simple things, milk, cereal, you know, whatever, fruits, vegetables, shit like that. I came back home. Nobody said nothing. And when I walked out of the store, I felt accomplished. I was like, wow, I can't believe I did that. But that was regular life a year and a half ago. Now it's like, you can't do that because people are going to judge you. They're going to look at you and they're like, oh my God. I feel like you're breaking some type, you're breaking a law. Dude, am I breaking a law? You know? When this first started uh, over the summer, get I was gonna say I was behind some lady getting a sandwich. What before masks were like the thing to be wearing, and she turns around and she's like, "You're not wearing a mask." I was like, "Well, it's not the law." And she's like, "Well, I don't think you should be in here if you're not wearing a mask." This is maybe April, May, and I get it. It was the peak of it, and it was fine. I was still coming out of it. I didn't know what the world was like because it was a couple fucking. I don't know, uh, weeks after I got out of quarantine. But I'm sitting there, this lady is like ridiculing me for not wearing a mask. And now it's a year and a half later where, Joe, everybody wears a mask. And if you're not wearing a mask, you're the dickhead. You don't want to wear a mask. Tell me how you feel It's just common courtesy, man. I don't want to wear a fucking mask. I hate wearing the fucking mask. But if I'm going into a supermarket, I'm going to put my mask on. respect for other people. Right. 
And you want to know what? Truthfully, if I was in that store and I see you walking around doing your shopping with no mask on, I would tap this and be like, look at this jerk off. You don't have a fucking mask on. I wouldn't really give a shit, though, because I have my mask on. Right. So you not having your mask on is really not affecting me. Because if, if you have your really mask doing, on, right? I don't give a shit if then you, you don't, don't have give a mask shit. on. Right. You know what I mean? No, that's. I think that's how it should be. That I. But reality, listen. someone like you or a family member, if I'm standing anywhere or in a park or wherever, I'm not gonna wear my fucking mask around people that I'm comfortable with and I know. Right. right. But you know, it's just me going into even a even a store. It, it does come down to just common courtesy because there are true. people who are like We're mentally gonna, losing yeah. it over yeah, this yeah. whole virus. Mm. So I, honestly, me personally, once they lift it and say I don't have to wear it, I don't care. They could look at me all they want. They could feel however they want. Right. Well, that's why, like I said, me, I'm just I, I don't care. I don't feel like I need to have it. If you want right. to do it, that's fine. See, that's your choice. Texas we'll is open 100, percent and their masks are optional. To, and if you want to wear the mask, if you want to wear, wear the mask. There you go, Joe. At the end Set of the day, preach, if you brother. have it on. And everybody mm-hmm. around you don't, you're good because you're covered. You know what I mean? Keep, so keep it's killing pretty, your yeah. immune system. I'm going to let mine thrive. <laughs> like that, That's what I have to say to those people. That's it. You know what I mean? Like, so, so you mentioned early, uh, a few minutes ago, you're like, what's the world going to be like post-COVID? Okay. Now, how the fuck are we going to recover from this? Mentally, economically, fucking how the fuck spiritually? Do we mentally recover from half the shit? Happen. Think about it, Danny. Wait, hold on. Pause from COVID real quick. In our Sidebar. lifetime, Sidebar. in our lifetime, we've witnessed things like 9-11, multiple mass shootings, Sandy Hook, Vegas, too many in between, BLM, police brutalities, uh, riots, uh, protests. The Capitol, the Pentagon, all that stuff being, uh, uh, what was it? The Capitol, right? That they broke through or like whatever. Stormed into, yeah. All the stuff that we've seen, like, and everything in between. I'm sorry, because I know I'm missing a lot of stuff that, like, you probably still throw out there and, like, whatever. But in our lifetime, dude, we've witnessed so many fucking tragic yeah. events and that it's recovered. become a normal. Mass shootings were it's starting like, to next? become normal. That, like... It wasn't even like where it was like so heartbreaking anymore. It was just like, oh, there was another one or, oh, there, you know what I mean? It's like, always going to be heartbreaking. I get so what you're I'm saying. saying like, feel, no matter but... what, there's so much stuff in life that this is just, like I said, that next thing that just happened that we're moving past. So to me, what will the world be like after COVID? Is it'll there going like to be anything else? COVID? Yeah, it'll be like you after know? anything else. It's just yeah. like adapting and moving on years. and the next step. And, you know, it's never going to be the same. Will it go back to normal? No. no. I don't think it'll ever go normal. back to normal because nothing ever There's goes gonna back to normal. There's going to be a new normal. normal Everything always changes. Exactly. It's going to take a few years to get to Nothing ever normal. goes back to normal, normal. No. It's a new normal. Exactly. Yeah. Normal wasn't working for normal. us. But normal never works. That's why things always, no. you know, adapt, always change. There's always something tragic or crazy or whatever that's going to happen. And adapt, we're just going to always you keep. you have to move forward. Exactly. Keep pushing on. That's it. Mm-hmm. And we will. Everybody will, man. That's it. Mm-hmm. Listen, from, from all of us here on this podcast, we wish everyone a lot of positivity, love, health, and happiness the best yeah. you can. I know it's crazy out there. We all know it's crazy out there. Talk We're all to going somebody, through man. it together. Somebody's having talk, talk There's always someone to talk to. Talk to We're us. here. We're here. Oh, yeah. there Message go. us. There go. Message us. Instagram, DM us. We'll Send us an your email. information private if that's the case. If you really need something to talk about, we're always here for you guys. I'm here for you. Everybody, Joe, you know, right now. I fucking love you guys. Absolutely, love you too, bro. That's it, man. We again, we I just there. we bicker I, I, here and there, I, I, but it's all out of love. Oh, absolutely. We've all known each other long enough, but I do I want to say again, uh, guys, thank you guys all again for the support. We really yeah. appreciate all the support. We do. Our Instagram, love you. We love it. Our Instagram is specialist of nothing, all one word, all lowercase. Our email is same thing, specialist of nothing at gmail.com, all lowercase, all one word. Simple. Um, Facebook Just page, specialist of nothing. Um, so guys, please 
Hit us up on any social media. Follow us, like us, and give share us some us out. feedback. Let us know what you guys think. If yep. there's anything you want us to talk about, give us a topic, man. Anybody I mean, we got a bunch. I'd love to hear about it. You guys want to be a guest? You want to shout out what your comment is? You know, we'll talk about it. We we have no problems with that. Um, so definitely, please, guys. I, I mean, we're, we're not specialists of anything. We're, we're we specialize of- in nothing. <laughs> so it please. literally says what it is. Hear us out. Bring up that We're just all around we'll guys who could talk about anything. <laughs> no, absolutely. But uh, right. are we good with this? Up COVID, huh? Yeah, I think so. All right, Danny, go get a vaccine. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Six months from now, I'm gonna be freaking banging at Danny's doll door, looking to eat his leg. When Wait. you guys come at me with four eyes. Fucking whatever. I don't even want to get into it. This is a whole that'll ha- that'll happen before oh. aliens, though. I'll tell you that. Can don't I just say bro, we never aliens? mentioned how you got Maybe COVID when you got COVID? Can we talk about Another that day. conversation? No, that is like, not a conversation. How I said <laughs> I will yo Frank, real alone. quick. You know the day this kid decides to go get tested for COVID, he makes a little pit stop in my house. Really? Hangs out, lays all over my oh couch. My bro, you God. invited me. You were like, yo, come by, my real quick. controller, my he fridge. Me, he's like, oh, I'm hanging out with someone. With someone. I'm like, really? And then, like, okay. And then he tells me he got COVID. I'm like, really? And he's like, the oh, next yeah, so, day, so that I was I'm hanging out with just came out here from this country. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was oh, literally. Oh, you, guys, man. <laughs> you know what? Me and Jameson, then go get out of here. We're going to go have ourselves a good time. And talk about, all right. Yo, Listen, Shy. I love every- you, Shy. Yeah, I love you too. All right, guys. <laughs> Everybody from Specialism of Nothing, we love you. Thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it. Have a Thanks good night, guys. Be safe out there, okay? Thanks, everybody. See you next time.